by recording this and sharing my screen with you and let's start here and we're going to look at this hand to start with I hope you can all see this and this was actually a hand that was played before lockdown and most people on this hand ended up in six spades. I think the bidding should probably go something like this. East opens a spade. West goes maybe straight into four no trump. You show two aces with five hearts. Five no trump hearts about kings. You show one king, the king of hearts, and your partner settles in six spades. And most people played this in six spades. Actually, this was the traveler from way back there it was played i think on a friday or a, a monday and you can see most people played this in six spades um a couple played it in six hearts unfortunately don't know how that happened um however in six spades not everyone made it uh some people did and two people actually made an over trick two people made 13 tricks so let's have a look at this hand and let's assume the opponent's lead a diamond and i've got the first poll question for you which is playing this hand in six spades how many top tricks does declara have so i'm going to give you about 20 seconds to count up how many top tricks you've got and then i'm going to launch a poll and ask you to say how many top tricks you have you a little while to count up all four suits. I hope you're ready. <laughs> Let's uh, launch the first poll then. And the question is, how many top tricks does Declara have? Okay, everyone has participated and the results are as follow. Most of you, 61% have said 11, 21% said 12, 11% said 13, and 2%, uh, sorry, 7%, two people said 10. So let's have a look and see who was right. And let's count up the... Uh, Let's count up the uh, tricks in each suit one at a time. So how many spades have we got? I hope you can all agree we've got five spade tricks. Okay, the ace, king, queen, jack, ten. We're going to count two hearts and one diamond. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. And the other question here, probably some, the more difficult one, is how many clubs have you got? Now, you've clearly got the top three clubs, but surely you can do better than that. What you need to do is think about how many cards you have in clubs compare and work out how many the opponents have. Here you have nine clubs, so the opponents have got four. Okay, And the only distribution that will cause you any difficulty is if they are divided 4-0. On any other distribution, if they are divided, for example, 3-1, you can just cash the ace-queen-king and all the clubs will fall. So the only situation where you might lose a club trick is if they are divided 4-0. If they are divided 4-0, you will discover that when you play the first club. You will see that. And, in fact, there is a 100% way of making all five club tricks here, and that is by starting with the ace or the queen. You start here with the ace or the queen so that you retain a high honor in each hand. And if you play the ace and you discover a 4-0 break, you now know who's got the jack and you will be able to finesse against that person. 
So believe it or not, there's a 100% way here, either as long as you start with the ace or queen, of making five clubs. And if you can make five clubs, five spades, two hearts and a diamond, that is 13 tricks. So everyone on this hand, whether you're playing it in six spades or six no trump, should make 13 tricks. And as I said, no, uh, only two people did. Only two people made, got a top score and made 13 tricks. Do interrupt me if you have any questions about that. So if they lead a diamond, if they lead the jack of diamonds, of course, there is no need to risk any finesse here. And the way to make 13 tricks is, of course, to play the ace here. Then you would draw trumps. Okay. Draw trumps. I think they fall in two rounds. But you might play another round. And then when you come to play the clubs, the uh, guaranteed way to make all five clubs is to start with the ace or the queen. Let me just bring up the four hands. In fact, there's a very normal distribution in clubs. They divide three, one. Um, but you start with the ace, then take the queen and draw the last club with the king. And then your last two clubs are good. And you'll now make all 13 tricks here. You don't need to risk trying to make anything with the queen of diamonds. You can just rough that. And you'll make 13 tricks. So this was an example of a hand of not risking the finesse. Many people see that ace queen, for example, in dummy and have an irresistible urge to try to finesse that. But on this hand, there's a much better option because you have 13 tricks anyway. And you don't need to risk the diamond finesse. Anyone have any questions on that? Hope you're all happy with that. Um, no, I, Tony. Yeah. When we were calculating the uh, uh, tricks, so what will be real answer? I know it depends how you play. No. But in counting, so, will it be eleven or twelve or thirteen? It's thirteen. So those of you said um, who didn't, the, the correct answer was thirteen, because there are thirteen top tricks if you play it correctly. No, Obviously. no, that is, I'm saying, if you play correctly, but what would be the other answer? Well, if you if you play it incorrectly, then you'll get fewer tricks. So you, you the, the, when, when we're counting our tricks, we assume we play them correct, we play it correctly. Okay, so for example, when we play the hearts, we, we play the ace. When we play the ace, we don't play the king. That would be a mistake. And similarly, when you play the clubs, if you don't play it correctly, I mean, in this case, the clubs divide three, one. So everyone should make, no matter how you start the clubs, you really should make all five clubs. So you have absolutely 13 top tricks here and you should play it you know, to make 13 tricks. So there's no need for any finesse here. And those of you who, who didn't say 13 were we're not right. So 13 is the right answer. You have 13 top tricks here. It doesn't rely on any kind of distribution from the, um, from, you know, the missing cards. You should always have 13 tricks here. Let's have a look at another one. Um, here you've got, you open, say, one spade. Your partner bids two diamonds. There's a two heart overcall. You rebid two spades and your partner uh, jumps to four spades. And <clears throat> let's have a look at this one. Your opponents lead a heart, which is what you expect because he's bid a heart. And this time in a suit contract, we're going to look at our possible losers here. I don't have a poll for this, but let's just look at the losers. Well, in spades, I hope I'm not going to lose any tricks here. And then, as long as I don't get a bad distribution, I hope I'll make all those spades. Hearts is a real problem because it, I'm going to lose three tricks there and it looks like I'm going to lose them right away, doesn't it? Um, diamonds, I don't have any losers in this hand. I've got the ace, king, queen. And the only other loser, apart from those three hearts, is the queen of clubs. Yeah. 
So you have four potential losers here, um, three hearts and one club. Okay. Now, one way you could avoid the club loser is to try finessing. In other words, lead from dummy and play the queen and hope that the king is on your right. But there's another option here. How can you avoid that club loser? Anyone have any thoughts? Discard on the diamonds. Yes, discarding on the diamonds. And that is a much better option. The club option is about 50%, but there's a good chance that the diamonds will set up and that we'll be able to make uh, a fourth diamond, not just the ace-king-queen, but when we play three rounds of the jack will fall and we'll be able to make one with our another trick in diamonds. Uh, and the odds of that, of the jack falling, or the suit, if any time that the suit divides three, two, or if the jack falls in, on a different division, you'll, you'll be able to make an extra trick there. So the odds are something like 70%. Um, and that's much better than the 50% club finesse. So that's how we're going to play it. Um, assuming the opponents start off with hearts, the queen, the ace, and the king, let's say. Um, that nine of clubs actually um, might be a signal. West might be encouraging their partner to switch to a club here. So East is probably always going to lead the club here because they're going to lead into Dummy's weakness. And if they play a club, your best bet is not to take the finesse. Go up with the ace, okay? And hopefully later on, we're going to try to establish the diamonds. First, though, we've got to draw trumps. So we play the ace, the queen, and they divide evenly. And... Now we're going to play the diamonds. Actually, before you play the diamonds, you may as well um, cash some more spades here just to put pressure on the <coughs> opponent. Maybe one of them has got diamonds and will discard one that may help you. So you may as well play your last two trump and then you're going to play the diamond. You're going to play. start with winning in the shorthand with the king cross over, and as long as they divide a reasonable distribution, you'll be able to take the queen, and your ten of diamonds will be the last trick, and that's a much better option than trying the club finesse. Okay, so again, you don't, when people see that ace-queen, see if there's an alternative to, um, to finessing, such as here, discarding it on the long diamond. Any, um, any questions on that? Here's another one. Here, this time, this was another one that was played before lockdown. Here, um, most people ended in six no trump. South would open one no trump. And let's suppose North just jumps to six no trump. We'll discuss that later. And let's suppose your opponents lead a heart, the ten of hearts. And again, I'd like you to count how many top tricks you have here okay so have a little think count up the top tricks and in about 15 seconds i'll launch a second poll how many top tricks does declarer have here top tricks are tricks that you can take without losing the lead okay so here comes the Second poll. How many top tricks does Declara have here? Okay, let's um, 
end the poll there and I'll share the results with you. And the majority here have gone for 10, 48%, 26% said 12, 15% uh, said 9, and 11% said 11. Let's have a look at that, see what we think. So let's count up our top tricks. And in the spade suit, although you've got the queen, jack, and king, you don't have any top tricks. You're missing the A, so that's two. That's no spade trick. In hearts, you've got two top tricks, the ace and the queen, ace and the king, rather, sorry. And in diamonds, you have five tricks. You're going to start maybe with a ten and then cross over here and make those, but you've got five top tricks in diamonds. And in clubs, how many top tricks have you got? Three. Three. So we start off with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's, those of you who said ten are correct. You have ten top tricks. And uh, obviously, to make your contract, you need two more tricks from somewhere. And the place to make those two tricks is spades, of course, isn't it? You've got the king, queen, jack. All you need to do is force out the ace, and you'll have your two tricks. And the key thing on this hand is if the opponents need a heart, you must take the ace or the king because if you play low hoping to win with your jack the opponents might be able to win the queen and they've still got the ace of spades and so you'll be defeated on this hand again when this hand was played this was the traveler from uh, way back then and you can see that a lot of the people who ended up in a six no trump did not make it in fact, only one person bid and made six no trump, and everyone else went down or, or bid too high. But the, the contract is actually guaranteed as long as when the heart is played, you win the first one. Don't risk trying to win with the jack of hearts, will be a kind of finesse. And then go immediately go after your spades. You, you need to set up a two spade tricks while you still have stoppers in all the other suits so play the spades right away if the opponents let you win that that's not enough that's just one more trick you need two more tricks so play another spade the opponents at some point will take their race but now you've set up a second spade trick. so whatever they play here you can win that one take your spade and then you'll be able to make the rest of the tricks. Let's start with the Ten of Diamonds, cross over, be able to run all our diamonds. As long as you don't get stuck in the wrong hand here, you'll be fine. You take your king and then your last two clubs. So, um, so I hope on this kind of layout, you'll all see that you know, by far the, the only way really to make your contract is to go after the spades. And you also you mustn't play your other suits uh, until you well, until you've set up those spade tricks. Any comments or questions on that? I, I'm going to turn now to um, the hand from last Thursday. This is board three, where nearly everyone played this in four spades. This was actually the uh, the traveller from that time. You can see nearly everyone was in four spades. Um, most people made it, although 620 um, got you an average score of eight. Two people made 11 tricks there. They got 650. Uh, one person went down. So let's have a look at how this was played in a variety of different ways. And let's start with this one, uh, where the bidding just went one spade, four spades. And uh, well, we'll look, let's look at the east hand here, see what you think of that bid of four spades. East has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points in high cards and a singleton. So four spades is a reasonable bid. Uh, I know some people bid three spades with this hand. I think you're too strong for that in the, in the sense that your partner might pass that. Um, 
the other bit you might think about if you play if you're playing splinter bits is four clubs that shows that you've got enough points for game and you've got a singleton club but barring that you would somehow or other end up in four spades most of the time and actually i've got the third and final poll question for you which is after this auction north is on lead and i'd like you to tell me what you think which suit north should lead here so north is on lead against the four spade contract and in a moment i'm going to launch a poll to ask you which suit you think north should lead so let me just launch that now it's the last poll of the evening so what would you choose Okay, let's um, end the poll there. And the results are the majority have gone for hearts, 43%. Um, and then an equal number went for diamonds and clubs, 23%. And 10% went for spades. So let's have a look at this and let's um, see what we think. Well, let's look at the spade lead here. I, I, I'm reluctant to lead a spade here because I've got the queen 10-4 and yeah. I have hopes to make a trick there. Yeah. I mean, it's not by no means guaranteed, but if, you know, it looks like declare a may finesse or something. Um, but if I lead a spade, I think I'm helping declare. A. If I lead a spade, whichever it is, the queen, the 10 or the four, I think I'm likely, declare has probably got the ace and the king and they're, I'm helping them by leading a spade. So I'm not keen on a spade lead. The other lead I'm not keen on is a diamond. Yeah. Um, uh, and if you do decide to lead a diamond, the right lead is the king of diamonds, top of a doubleton. And you're leading that hoping that you'll be able to get a rough. The problem with leading a diamond is it could easily give away a trick to declare a. They may well have the queen or the ace and the queen. And by you leading that suit, you are helping declare or avoid a, lo a loser there. Also, even if I do get a rough, even if my partner Tom had the king of diamonds and I played the king, the ace, and I got a rough, <clears throat> I'm roughing with one of these spades, which where, where I was had some expectation of winning a trick anyway. So it's, it's not a great lead from that point of view. So I don't really like those leads. I'm going to lead another suit. I'm going to lead either a heart or a club. Um, and I think either of those is a reasonable lead, but I would stay away from the diamond and the spade. Either. The spade, diamond and uh, spade. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah. Leads are difficult. Uh, and this is, you know, by no means clear cut. Any lead could help declare up. I think the lead that's least likely to help declare is probably a club. And the reason I say that is because I've got five clubs. Declarer probably doesn't have many clubs. And it's likely that I'm uh, not going to be helping him set up a long suit, for example. So I, I think a heart or a, a club lead is reasonable here. This particular time it was played, um, they actually led the nine of hearts. And this was one of the times uh, it was played. Uh, and let's have a look at this hand and look at it from the point of view of Declara and see if we can make a plan on this hand. And what you're going to have to do is to think about where you might lose tricks. Where are you going to possibly lose tricks? So let's go through the suits one at a time. 
they've led a heart here. And first question is, do you think you have a spade, Louisa? Yes. Well, you might. You yes. might lose to the queen. Yes. Actually, when the time comes to play the spades, the normal way to play this suit combination when you have nine trump missing the queen is actually just to play the ace and the king. Uh, and that's a slightly greater than 50% chance that the, the queen will drop. Um, so we may or may not lose to, a, 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 to the queen of spades. We don't have any heart losers, do we? In fact, we've got, we can play the ace king and we've got two extra hearts here. Okay, so on the hearts, when we come to play the hearts, we can actually discard twice from the West hand. Okay, so that we'll come back to that in a moment. And in clubs, although we have three clubs here, we've only got one in dummy. So if we can rough two of these clubs, yeah. I think we can only we might only lose one club. So that's our plan on this hand to to avoid the club losers by roughing. That will leave us with one club loser. And then when we play the hearts, we'll be able to discard twice and we can discard two diamonds. Mm -hmm. In other words, rather than risking the diamond finesse, we're going to plan to discard twice, discard the diamonds. And that will leave our only loser as one club and maybe a spade, depending on, on how they divide. Okay, so that's going to be our plan. And this time it was played quite well by Declara. And let's have a look at how they did it. They took the first trick with the ace. They then led a low spade, played the king, and then played a spade back. Now here they discovered the bad break, but they did the right thing of taking the ace. And now they've drawn two rounds of trumps, except South discarded once. So there's just one trump out. They didn't get a 2-2 two -two break. Um, and the missing trump is the queen, and North has it. And as I often say in this situation, it's nearly always right just to leave it out, just to leave that last um, trump out. Okay, don't draw it because we want to try to keep two, um, uh, two spades so that we can rough two clubs. What Declara did now was they played a heart. Okay, they played the jack, they played the queen, and they were started discarding diamonds. They played the king, and they discarded the other diamond, which was very well done. Declara, uh, sorry, North here got in and roughed that one. Because obviously they've still got that queen to rough with. They then played a club, which South was able to win. They played a diamond back, which Declara won. And now actually Declara just claimed because they can cross rough the last um, the last tricks. In other words, they're going to rough a club, rough a diamond, uh, rough a club, and they actually made eleven tricks here. One of the two people. Who actually made 11 tricks there. So that was played well. Anyone have any questions on that? I wanted to look at how some other people um, played this. And this is exactly as is on the website. The only thing I've done is I've removed the names because I don't want to uh, embarrass anyone on this one. But let's have a look at how it was played a few other times. Uh, how about this one where it was in four spades? Here the bidding went um, one spade, three spades, four spades. And you can replay this yourself to see how it, uh, how it went against you. This time they uh, started off by leading a club. And you can see the computer here is actually telling you at this point that the best lead is anything except a diamond, that the diamond lead here is the worst lead from the defense's point of view. And it could lead to Declara making 12 tricks here. In other words, that's what that one means, that you'll only make one trick and Declara should make 12. This um, North, however, led a club, which is a reasonable choice. South won that one and played back a diamond. And 
I think that's a fair, fairly clear-cut lead from South's point of view, because you're leading into Dummies Week. Declara, however, did well on this hand. They took the ace instead of risking the finesse. Um, they then roughed the club, which is okay. Um, and then they played a heart. If I'm watching this, I'm thinking you've got to draw trumps at some point here. Okay, but they played another heart. Okay, they've escaped. And then they did start drawing trumps. They played the king here. They played the nine. And they played the ace here. So just like before, there's one high trump out. And they didn't draw it. Instead, they played their last club and roughed there. And um, it looks like they're in great shape now because they've got the king and queen of hearts on which they can discard their last two diamonds. So they did that, all right. But then, for some reason, they played a diamond here. So they would have made 11 tricks if they just played the king. Again, you don't care if it gets roughed or not. But they, they played a diamond, and so now they only made 10 tricks. Uh, North still got another trump to make, um, and Declara just made ten tricks on that one. So again, I don't know why that, why what happened there, um, but uh, you, you were they were on track to making eleven tricks, um, but just um, played the wrong suit at the end. There. Anyone have any comments or questions on that? I've got a question, but not related to this one. All right, well, maybe you could ask at the end then. Let's have a look at another one. Uh, here again, it went one spade, three spades, four spades. And uh, this time they led a heart. Um, with 10, 9, 7, I would probably leave the 10 because it's top of a, a near sequence headed by an honor, just about. So anyway, they led a heart here. And Declara won that first one. Here they started off in trumps, playing over to the king. Um, and then they played a heart back. Played this way, of course, it sets up a heart for north, but it's still the right line. And then they played a club. Yeah, so they've, they've drawn two rounds of trumps, so they're going to leave the queen out. And they've, um, they're going to draw trumps. And this is an interesting one because Declara led the two. And what the computer is saying here is that the best card to play is the jack of clubs here. And can you see why North should play the jack of clubs here? You, you, you play the jack of clubs here so that you can then play your queen of spades and draw two of Declara's trumps. Yes. Okay. So North missed an opportunity there. Just like I, I always say, if, um, if there's a high trump, leave it out. If you're in a position with a high trump to draw two of Declara's low trumps, it's often the right thing to do. And it would have been the, the best thing to do here. But they, they missed their chance to do that. So their partner won the trick, and of course they don't have any more trumps. So what they did is played a diamond. Declara did well here, playing the uh, ace of diamonds. And um, then they started draw, uh, roughing the club. So they played a club, which they roughed. They played a heart here. Played another heart. Um, and here, again, they've made a slight mistake when they played the queen. They should be planning to discard the two diamonds. But in fact, they discarded the ten of clubs, which is a mistake, because you can always avoid that by roughing. So they, they, they missed out on the chance to make 11 tricks there. They played the queen, which they discarded a diamond. But now they're always going to lose a diamond trick. North rough that one and is able to cash a diamond trick. Again, that holds Declara to 10 tricks there. And uh, 
rather than the 11 tricks that are, are possible. Okay, so, um, so basically, you know, it's a great way to, to, to look at it. The, the, the lesson on this hand was not to be taken in by trying the diamond finesse, um, because there's a better way of avoiding the diamond losers, which is discarding it on the hearts. Um, and that would, would lead to 11 tricks rather than 10. Okay. Does anyone Good have any question, questions? Tony. Yes, yes. yes. I'm always worried about drawing trumps in defense because then I'm depriving my partner of trumps that may be useful to them. <laughs> hmm. Well, that is a good consideration. I mean, on this particular hand, where Declara had um, had drawn the had played the ace and king of spades and then stopped, you you actually know at that point because your partner's already discarded in any case that they have no trump. Yeah. Um, so so that is fairly clear cut. There are other situations where leading a trump could um, adversely affect your partner. Um, one example, for example, is if you were on lead with this north hand, um, well, I, I'm not inclined to lead a spade here because I've got quite good spades. Um, but if I, for example, had three lousy spades, then it's not that likely that my partner has much in spades. And then, then it might be a good choice as an opening lead. Um, so... I don't know what to say. Sometimes it is right to draw trumps. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and sometimes it's not. <laughs> Any other comments or questions? I have got a question. It's not really related to this okay. topic. All right. All right. Any it's, questions um, then? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. If you're in no trump, rather, if the contract is no trump and one of, and you're defending either declarer or the other opponent has called a particular suit and you your best suit happens to be and you're on lead yeah. and your best suit happens to be that same suit should you lead it well sometimes yes i mean <laughs> if if you have something like king queen jack 10 then it's a perfectly safe lead to make right. um it's not going to be giving away anything yeah, but then they wouldn't have bid it. Probably the opposition wouldn't have bid it. Oh, yeah. It so well, they, they might have. You know, I mean, they might have five. You know, five hearts, and you've got four hearts. Um, so, so you could lead it in in that situation. However, if you've got, say, just one or two honors, then you need to be careful about leading it, mm. um, especially if it if it's declarer's suit. If you think about it, if you if you lead, if you've got, say and you lead a suit that declarer has bid, you're leading into their strength, okay? Yeah. And that is very undesirable. In that case, you really want to sit back and, and not lead that suit. Um, it's not so bad if you're leading dummy suit. So if dummy has bid a suit, then sometimes it's right to lead it. Actually, even if you're not very strong in it yourself, um, it can be a reasonable, uh, reasonable lead. But... Generally, yes. If they bid a suit, it will make you think think twice before before leading it, and maybe have another think. Uh, you know, in, in, especially if you're leading against no trump, lead another suit uh, could work out better. Yeah, of course, I think that happened, and uh, it was not good. It wasn't good. Right. Any other comments or questions? Shoba, did you have a question? Yeah, I was saying, do you have any formula to remember how many cards are formed? Do you have a Say that again. How to remember the cards which have been played? Mm. Any formula? Mm. Well, I think the key is to make a plan um, at, at, before you start playing. So, for example, on this very first one, where a number of people weren't sure how many top tricks you have, um, suppose you're trying to work out how many clubs there are how many club tricks you've got. What you have to do is think about how many clubs you have, nine here, how many the opponents have, and uh, realize that as you're playing them, how many are left. Some people 
sort of trying to thinking at the beginning what what the likely distribution is. The other way to do it is as you play the clubs, think about how many are left. Um, but you know, see, I mean, if you look at the club suit here, where you've got the ace, king, queen, you really got to have some kind of thing to thought in the back of your mind about how many high, how many clubs are out, how many of them are high. In this case, it's only one is the jack, and you know, realize that as you play them, um, you know, they're very likely to all to all make. The other thing some people like to do is think how many cards the opponents still have. So you'd start off when you're playing the clubs, thinking the opponents have got four clubs. You draw, you play one round, and two are played. So now you know they've got two left. Okay, and now you know they'll they'll fall when you play your other two arms. So that's another another method of trying to keep track of of what's gone. But the the key thing I think is to to make your plan and to try to count your tricks. Uh, right at the beginning. One more question, please. Yeah. Can I ask? Yeah, go ahead. I was playing some uh, today, and uh, uh, it was weak no term, and partner opened one no term, and I did uh, two diamond, and he did uh, two no term. I didn't understand what he wanted me to do. Yeah. Well, what what was two diamonds? Was that natural or was it a transfer? No, it was for transfer. Right. So he he should have been two hearts. But he did do a two not uh, trump. And did he have a meaning for that? Did you ask him about it? Well, you can't ask because it's a computer. You're playing against a computer, were you? Miss. Oh, your partner was a computer. Yeah. I see. Well, I I don't know then. <laughs> No, in normal bidding, you would either pass or if it's transfer, you bid two hearts. There are other schemes where you can super accept hearts, but I don't don't sound like that was it. So I don't but do you think it is a uh, indication that they have got a weak hand or a strong hand? You know what they've got. They've got a balanced hand with twelve to fourteen points. Okay. Right. So they 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 shouldn't make that bid. Is All there right. a convention? Is there a convention which uh, is used in this play? There are. That is used where? In this game, which I'm talking to you, one no trump and two no trump. So, so is there a? There could they could be playing convention where two no trump had a special meaning. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anyway, let's end the talk there. Is there anyone here on the call who needs a partner for tonight? The rest of it, if you finish, if you don't, then you can leave. Thank you all very much. Um, but uh, otherwise, uh, uh, is there anyone else? Unmute yourselves if you need a partner. Sheila, you're waving no, no. at me. Oh, no, no, you're saying goodbye. Saying, I'm okay. saying goodbye. I'm all right, bye-bye saying... then. Is there anyone who needs a partner? Unmute yourselves and speak up if you do. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, John. I'm just waiting to see if anyone needs a partner. No one has spoken up. So anyway, thank you all very much. We'll see you online in a moment.